Yet again, Floyd Mayweather finds himself in trouble with no possible way out after planning the announcement of his fight with his longtime rival, Victor Ortiz. He failed to show up and let down the Mexican government, as they lost a lot of money, with many people being disappointed. It seems that the FBI is on him, planning to freeze all his assets, but those are not the only rumors. It seems he is stuck yet again in Dubai. Let's take a look. Floyd Mayweather, the renowned five-division champion, finds himself embroiled in FR controversy as allegations swirl around him. Reports from the source indicate that Mayweather is facing accusations of scamming Mexican promoters out of a staggering $1 million. This latest development follows earlier news that Mayweather was being held in Dubai over unpaid dues, though subsequent reports indicated he had returned to Las Vegas shortly after his return. Mayweather hinted at an upcoming exhibition match against his former rival, Victor Ortiz. The unfolding saga has captured widespread attention, with many speculating on the motives behind Mayweather's actions. Questions abound regarding the authenticity of his dealings and the implications for his reputation in the boxing world. Mayweather's involvement in various high-profile events has only added fuel to the fire, leaving fans and critics alike eager for further clarification as the situation continues to evolve. Mayweather's legacy hangs in the balance, with each new twist and turn contributing to the uncertainty surrounding his future. The allegations of fraud have cast a shadow over his illustrious career, raising doubts about his integrity and business practices. Yet amidst the turmoil, Mayweather remains a figure of intrigue, his every move scrutinized by an eager audience, hungry for answers, adding another layer of complexity to the unfolding saga the former world champion recently took down a post on social media teasing a fight slated for August 24 in a subsequent Instagram story. Floyd Mayweather hinted at still being stranded in Dubai, contradicting previous reports of his return to the United States. Furthermore, sources now reveal that Mayweather failed to make an appearance at the press conference in Mexico for his scheduled exhibition match. Amidst the confusion, a report from WBN indicates that Mayweather's absence from the press conference has left organizers and journalists perplexed as they try to piece together the events leading up to his no-show. Additionally, Victor Ortiz, who was seemingly set to face the five-division champion, was unexpectedly removed from the main event lineup. The series of events has further muddied the waters surrounding Mayweather's current whereabouts and intentions. Speculation runs rampant as fans and insiders alike attempt to decipher the motives behind his actions and the implications for his future in the sport amid the chaos. The Mexican government, deeply involved in arranging the event, has voiced its displeasure with Mayweather's actions. Now, there are rumors suggesting that Floyd might get arrested again and that the FBI has frozen all of his assets. There were other news stories where people were speculating that he missed the announcement due to being stuck in Dubai. Yet again, many people didn't like this act from Floyd. Joe Rogan, being one of them, called out Floyd for missing the announcement. Fans from all over the world looked at this event with excitement, and now, they were let down. Davis, of course, didn't let this opportunity go and had to hit Floyd again. What did he say? Well, Davis, the current WBA lightweight champion, has found himself in a spat with Floyd Mayweather once again. This time it's over Mayweather's announcement that Davis's upcoming fight against Frank Martin has been called off. This news has stirred up both Davis and his fans, adding fuel to the fire of their frustration. A lot of fighters I've seen doing the pass, they're doing it like this. Their hands is not turning. So when you're on the, on the pass, your hands must turn. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Let's show them how it's done. Hands turning. Davis has held the WBA title since 2019 when he knocked out Yuri Orkis Ganba. After moving up to the lightweight division recently, he was promoted to full champion status after Devin Haney moved up in weight leaving the WBA super belt back at the dispute between Davis and Mayweather highlights tensions within the boxing world as disagreements over fight arrangements 
and promotional decisions come to the forefront for Davis the cancellation of his upcoming bout represents a setback in his career trajectory disrupting his plans for competition and potential advancement in the sport taking to Instagram Davis aired his grievances against Mayweather accusing him of deceiving people and taking their money in response Mayweather asserted that the Davis Martin fight and indeed been cancelled this prompted a fiery retort from Davis who branded Mayweather a hater and reaffirmed his authority Floyd Mayweather Jr. Once hailed as one of the wealthiest boxers in history, appears to have encountered a string of unfortunate events recently, this time involving his NASCAR venture TMT Racing. Mayweather's team had forged a partnership with Mercedes Elias, a U.S. Marine Corps veteran Rebecca Amudi, a first-grade school teacher, and Michael Medri the Cosio of Amet Securities, to establish a new NASCAR entity called AmarVet. However, there's a twist in the tale reports, notably one from Fox Sports reporter Bob Paca suggests that Mayweather as a co-owner of TNT Racing has severed ties with the NASCAR endeavor. Instead, William Amudi, another co-owner, has stepped in to oversee the team's operations on behalf of the company. This development has been further affirmed by a report from MSN, which revealed Mayweather's exclusion from the ownership group ahead of the Coca-Cola 600 NSCR Cup Series points race at Charlotte Motor Speedway in North Carolina. There's been a significant update. Rebecca Odie, a co-owner of the team, expressed immense enthusiasm for their return to the NASCAR Cup Series, especially with the Coca-Cola 600 serving as a fitting occasion to unveil their team's rebranding. As part of this rebrand, they've brought in a new driver to take the wheel. Floyd Mayweather's departure from the team has paved the way for Ty Dillon to step into the driver's seat. Dillon will be behind the wheel of the number 50 Chevrolet Camaro for Team Amaret in the upcoming race this Sunday. It's noteworthy that Amet Securities, one of the team's co-owners, is a highly respected service-disabled veteran-owned broker-dealer. Meanwhile, Dylan is no stranger to the Coca-Cola 600 NSCAR Cup Series. This will mark his seventh appearance in the race, with his best finish dating back to 2022, where he secured 13th place. Although Dylan, aged 32, has around two years of experience driving the next car, he parted ways with Spire Motorsports at the end of the 2023 season. Currently, he's actively competing in the NASCAR Truck Series for Rackley Dung, holding a solid 10th position in the regular season standings. As uncertainty clouds the fate of the Ortiz fight, let's take a stroll down memory lane to revisit Mayweather and Ortiz's initial encounter back in September 2001, when the boxing world witnessed a clash between Floyd Mayweather and Victor Ortiz for the WBC welterweight title. Mayweather then returned from a 16-month hiatus faced off against Ortiz in what would become one of his most controversial fights to date. During the fourth round of the bout, Mayweather found himself on the receiving end of a blatant headbutt from Ortiz, prompting the referee to dock a point from the offending boxer. However, as Ortiz attempted to reconcile by hugging Mayweather, the referee intervened to separate them. In that moment, Mayweather seized the opportunity to unleash a flurry of punches, swiftly flooring Ortiz and bringing the fight to an abrupt end. Now, over a decade later, Mayweather's efforts to orchestrate a rematch with Ortiz appear to have fallen through despite his endeavors. The anticipated sequel to their contentious, the showdown has failed to materialize as speculation swirls regarding Mayweather's next move. Questions abound about his motives and financial standing. Will he seek out another opponent for his next bout? Has he encountered financial setbacks have derailed his plans for a rematch? And amidst the fallout from his recent controversies, will the Mexican government pursue legal action against Mayweather?